Good day, everybody. I'm back again, Dr. Nandi, your SAT tutor. Today, I'm going to talk about how to calculate sample size for proportions. So I'll share my screen with you. Okay, here's the problem. A study indicated that 29% of 100 women over the age 55 were widows, okay? So the sample size is 100 out of that sample, 29% said uh, over age 55, they're widows. How large a sample size is needed to be 90% confident that the estimate is within 0 0.05, that's 0 0.05 of the true proportion of women over age 55 who are widows. So we have information about sample proportion, we want to calculate the sample size necessary to be 90% confident and the margin of error is 0 0.05. So P hat sample proportion is 0 0.29 and we want to be 90% confident in our calculations. So Z alpha by two for 90% confidence level is 1.645. And we also know the margin of error. Remember the margin of error is the difference between sample proportion and population proportion. And that is given as 0 0.05. So we will utilize the formula N equal to P hat times one minus P hat times in parenthesis Z alpha by two divided by M and the whole thing is squared. So how to do this in the calculator? We take our calculator on, okay? So we will do the calculation just right like it is written on the screen. So we'll do 0.29, then left parenthesis, one minus 0.29, right parenthesis, then another left parenthesis, and inside that parenthesis is 1.645, which is the Z alpha by two, divided by 0 0.05 is the margin of error. Close the parenthesis, then we need to square that last parenthesis. So we press the X square button, which is in the first, column of keys on the extreme left, halfway down, press that X square. That ensures that the last parenthesis is squared and then hit enter. And we always round it up. So the sample size is 223. Okay, so that's part A. Part B says, if no estimate of the sample proportion is available, how large should the sample be? In this case, P hat is not known. So what will we do? The textbook says if p hat is not known, we will assume p hat is 0.5. So the first two terms in that equation becomes n equal to 0.5 multiplied by 0.5, which is 0.25. So the equation for the sample size uh, is changed to 0.25 because 0.5 multiplied by 0.5 is 0.25. Then in parenthesis, z alpha by two divided by m and the whole thing is squared. So how will I do it in my calculator? I will have 0.25 in the calculator, then put the left parenthesis, 1.645 divided by 0 0.05, close the right parenthesis, and then square by pressing the X square button in the first column and hit enter. And remember, we always round it up. So the answer is 271. Notice the sample size with P hat not known is slightly greater than the sample size calculated when P hat is known as 0.29, okay? So N equal to 271 for P hat not known is a conservative estimate of the sample size, okay? So I will stop here today. If you have any question, please do not hesitate to put a comment. I will come back and reply to your comment. I will also come back next week with more sample problems solved with TI-84. So please do not forget to subscribe to my channel, okay? I come back every week to show you how to solve problems which can help you immensely in your as a study guide, okay? Thanks for watching my video and have a nice day. Take care and I'll see you next time.